know this music very well. I have called more matches of this man than anyone in my career, but I've never seen him more violent and dangerous than I have in Fight Pro Wrestling. And that would be the champion of the 1%, Logan Easton LaRoe. The athletic ability on this show today is just off the charts. Right, everybody who comes out here is, like he says he's the 1%, but I feel like half the people in the locker room are in the top 1% of people in great shape in this world. You're seeing uh, BJJ world champions. Undefeated here in Fight Pro, and I can't say it's good to see Logan back, but it is notable to see Logan back. Logan was scheduled to wrestle Eli Isom at our last event. It was announced that he was fined for brutally attacking and injuring both Cheeseburger and his opponent at Enter the Fight Round 1, Colby Carino. He refused to show up and to pay the fine, so something happened behind the scenes with him and Princetonna, because Logan's back. See, but I say it is good to see him here. Because you might not like him personally, but he's a fantastic professional wrestler. And if you're trying to put on the best professional wrestling show you can, that guy's got to be on it. Certainly another person you want to see on the best pro wrestling show you can have is the American Hammer, Matt Quay, one of the newest entrants to the hybrid division thanks to his win over the Mecca. Matt Quay's a guy I had a chance to train with a little bit years ago. Now currently training with for real independent wrestling legend, me, Mark Mest, uh, in Redding, Pennsylvania. So this is a battle of the number five ranked Matt Quay against the number three ranked Logan Easton Laroe. Everyone trailing our points leader, the professional Rhett Titus at this point. We're gonna see what these two have to say to each other face to face when our, refer our ring announcer, Carolina Jim, leads us to the face off. Gentlemen, any final words for your opponents? Very simple. What? To the point. Well, brother, call is cheap. I'm right here, man. Any camera time, baby. What makes Logan Easton LaRoe so dangerous isn't just the fact that he's an incredibly skilled professional wrestler or that he's trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a theme across Enter the Fight Round 3. It's the fact that Logan Easton LaRoe represents privileged unchecked. This is a man who's never been told no in his life. He thinks he is owed everything, and I think it is uh, festered and fermented and fermented a terrible, terrible sadistic streak inside of him. Credit to him though, like he's not just sitting back and just saying, hey, I was just born and all this wonderful stuff. Like, this guy's still out there putting in the work. I saw the other day, my man ran six miles by 6 a.m. and did a back workout. Like, this guy wants to be the best, maybe for his own cruel, evil intentions, but he's putting the work in. So if you can't outwork him and he beats you, then he deserves a win. Logan Easton LaRoe so far has been the master of the metagame. The only competitor who has been able to really use the system of violations and infractions to his advantage. Going up against the House of Fire, the heart and soul of positive energy, the right mindset, Matthew Quay. Matthew Quay, a guy who comes in in fantastic shape. He's been training nonstop for a couple years now, and this is a huge opportunity for him in the ring with one of the top names on the independent. Right. It, it, sometimes it just takes that one big win. 
over the right guy to really skyrocket a career on the independents. And this could be that day for Matt Quay. A lot to prove here for Matt Quay, who did beat the Mecca to enter the hybrid division. But there is a, I would say an asterisk. Matt Quay wrestled a great match, but the Mecca got disqualified. He forfeited due to all of his violations. It was very clear the Mecca had not read the fight rulebook. And I know that Quay wants to prove it doesn't matter the opponent. It doesn't matter the situation. He's not being beat by someone else. He is doing the beating. Right, and sometimes you get that win, but it doesn't really feel like a win. You didn't win because you were better than somebody. You, you won because somebody else didn't understand the rules properly, or they lost their temper, or, you know, they just overwent their violations for whatever, one reason or the other. Which brings up what you mentioned about Logan. Oh wait, Matt Quay! Woo! Picks him up! Oh, Logan! That's, that's warning one. That was a close fist to the face. If used properly, if used properly, these violations could be the best weapon you have in the ring. But again, it's a very slippery slope because if you decide you're going to go use two or three of them, then an accidental fourth one happens. You can get caught. You can yeah. get caught quick. But Logan, using it as a defensive maneuver, did not want to take the damage of the power bomb, willing to use one of his violations in order to escape all that damage to his head and back early on in the match. And Logan's no dummy. He's a guy I do think can balance that system to his advantage. I don't see a forfeit happening in this match, so if Matt Quay wants to win today, he's going to have to earn it the good old-fashioned way. One of the smartest wrestlers I've ever seen, Logan East LaRoe, with that standing Enziguri. I don't know how you feel, Avery. I know you've known Logan a long time, but often there's a bit of preening and posturing in Logan LaRoe. I'm not seeing any of that tonight. This is a focused, focused and dangerous Logan Easton LaRoe. Sometimes in professional wrestling, you just have a match just for the sake of having a match, but not here at Fight Pro. Every single match has a reason. Every single match has a prize, right? You gain your points, you lose points, other people surpass you in the rankings. So Logan understands all of this. He's out here to just claim wins, not to show off, not to show the ladies his pretty abs and all of those things. We got a count in the ring to it. He understands here that every win matters. You can't just take a loss and wake up the next day and everything still be the same. The precision of Logan's strikes in this match have been incredible. Everything hitting perfectly. Matt Quay is a phenomenal competitor, but so far he has absolutely had it taken to him by the coastal elite, the venture capitalist, the champion of the 1%. It's not often Logan gets in a ring with somebody who looks as in tip-top shape as he is, right? But he, he definitely has um, the experience advantage in this match. But Matt Quay looks like one of those 2022 athletes, right? It's not just good enough to be strong. It's not just good enough to be fast, right? It looks like he's got all of that wrapped into one one total package, if you will. These two are in the hybrid division for a reason. These athletes all have to be expert in multiple different wrestling styles, from Puro Riso and Strong Style, to Lucha Libre, to technical wrestling, brawling. In order to succeed in fight, you have to be a master of your craft. If you were gonna analyze these two as a former competitor, where would you say their strengths both lie respectively? Logan is all upstairs, like outside of the obvious, he's in great shape, but he's one of the smartest wrestlers I've ever been around or in the ring with, right? So usually he's gonna go into the match with that advantage. And that is right? not a violation for Matt Quay. He did not choose to leave of his own volition. <laughs> and Logan, with that drop kick, did not leave the ring either, getting just around the rules. Logan just connected with that drop kick straight to the face of Matt Quay. And I don't oh my know God. if Matt Quay's getting up. This just that might child be a is checking to make sure he is in so much danger. We have children running to make sure their hero is okay. He's and that, not, by the way. That might very well be Matt Quay's advantage in this match. Is he's so likable, he's got the fans here at Fight Pro behind him. Nobody wants to see Logan Easton LaRue win anything. You are not encouraged to go outside and fight pro wrestling. And part of that, I don't know if you notice, Avery, there are no mats. This is hard concrete floor. That was a lot of damage that Logan did in a short period of time. With the help from that little child, Matt Quay makes it back into the ring. Got Logan yes. puts the boots right back to him immediately. We are five minutes into this 20 minute time limit. We have seen these matches, most notably in the battle of student versus teacher, Eli Isom against the world famous Cheeseburger did go to a time, 20 minute time limit draw and it was decided by who had the most infractions. So while the infractions, the violations are a good strategy for Logan, if it goes the distance and he has more than Matt Quay, that's gonna cost him down the line. So again, another one of the amazing things about these matchups all meaning something. Even in the case of a draw, somebody leaves a little bit better than, the other, than their opponent. 
Everything in fight is about tactics and strategy. You talk about pro wrestling as human chess sometimes, but it has never been more accurate here than in Fight Pro, as Logan Easton Leroux looking to put Matt Quay away for three points. Even the vibe in the locker room here, you can sense the competition in the air, right? With everything mattering and everything meaning something, like nobody's back there like, hey buddy, what's up, how you doing? Everybody's on their A game, everybody's your enemy, right? Well, certainly, if you're Logan Easton Row, everyone is your enemy. <laughs> kind of by choice. That man doesn't have friends. He has people he pays to be nice to him. And even that's a difficult job to do. Oh, yeah. It probably pays well, though. It's hazard pay. <laughs> the only thing I have ever met in my life less likable than Logan is his dog. What kind of dogs do you have? Evil Chihuahua named Henry. I mean, I'm talking the it's fires Henry. of hell. Yeah, it's oh. terrible. Terrifi Nasty little rats. Terrifies me on Instagram. You know, like father, like son, like Logan, like dog. <laughs> as Matt Quay is learning, as Logan Easton Leroux just battering Quay upside the head and all across this ring. Yeah, this one's been 80% Logan on this. Logan uh, definitely get. oh, he just misses that over there in the corner. Matt Quay right on him with the splash. There's that speed. Hitting him with some power. There's another stinger splash in the corner. He's going for a third. Let's go, kid. We well, got a whip and a reversal. No springboard. Take us back to the late 80s, because it is hammer time here hey, at the Super hey, Crazy man. Wrestling Center. Can't touch this. He's up to the top ropes. Big cross body. He may go to the top of the charts. No, Matt Quay looking to be more than a one-hit wonder here in Fight Pro Wrestling by getting his second win in the hybrid division. Logan Easton Leroux looking to prove that he belongs at the top spot, trying to become the champion eventually here He's in Fight Pro. He's looking for that springboard elbow. There was the hammer top, or the American hammer. It did not work out. Ladies and gentlemen, so that's his first red strike now, correct? That is correct. The warning has been applied, and that was an official violation. Logan has two more before he loses by forfeit, but he might not need it. Look at those hammer and tongs. Both his warning and his red strike so strategically placed, they completely turned this match around. In both cases, crucifix, Logan was on crucifix. The two and no, he's going for another pin. Rolls him up, a little bit of a Mexican rolling pin into the ropes, though. I got to know that ring placement, that ring awareness. But right back on him. Look at the urgency. This is the single best I've ever seen Logan Easton Leroux wrestle. Not being hyperbolic, don't like to acknowledge it, but he looks incredible today. More than anything else, he just looks focused, right? It's not about showing off, flexing, blah, 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 showing you how much money he got, how much better he is. About all the deal has stuff. been done, and hey. Quay almost took it. But Logan, right now, he understands that here at Fight Pro, it's all about the W. Logan somehow getting back to his feet. Both competitors wobbly. Matt Quay looking to end it with the nail on the head. Let's see if he can drop him down on that knee. That's another violation. Rake the eyes. Violation led right to the cutter, though. We got one, two. That's it. That is the game being played at its highest level. Every single warning, every single violation was used to turn the tide in this matchup.